I am Kristoff. I am Elizabeth. We have been photographing and filming insects since 2005. In the beginning, it was an amateurish approach. We worked handheld without a tripod and with a flash. Really good pictures were only taken by chance. After a short time, this was no longer enough for us. We wanted lots of good pictures. We improved our equipment and working methods. Today, we've reached the point where we almost only bring home good films. As we film everything in 4K, we can also export very good photos if required. We would like to share our experiences, the beautiful videos, and also the knowledge about the best possible equipment so far with you. Over the next few months, we will be producing two series. In one, we will show our equipment piece by piece. We want to give those interested the opportunity to see only the parts of the equipment that interest them. In the other series, we will take you with us on our excursions and you can discover the realm of insects together with us. Our publications will be sporadic. So if you are interested in one or the other and don't want to miss anything, stop the video now and subscribe to this channel. By the way, our films are all real. We do not publish studio productions and we do not show situations that do not exist in reality. Large TV stations or big film studios often create artificial situations and videos at considerable expense. You can find an example of this under this video as a link. We find studio recordings and insects kept in terrariums to make films according to the director's wishes as fake. In our documentary series, we also refrain from using sensationalist titles or descriptions such as the biggest insects, the ugliest insect, the most dangerous insects, and so on. We also do without sensationalist film editing. The faster a sequence of images, one scene follows another, the more intensely the viewer is glued to the screen. At the end, the viewer has the impression, yes, that was a breathtaking movie, an exciting movie. If you then ask, what did you see? Hardly anyone can remember anything. What you saw is very fleeting and is only remembered in fragments. We edit our film so that you can take a closer look at the animals. So that structures, the variety of colors, shapes and peculiarities are clearly visible. We invite you to slow down a little, take a closer look observe, recognize, and enjoy life. If life is lived quickly, then it is also over quickly. Our aim is not to experience as much as possible in as short a time as possible, but to enjoy life in all its beauty. Even a good red wine is not simply poured down your throat. You smell its fragrance and enjoy it sip by sip. An insect in front of our macro lens is not just an insect. Rather, it is our most important actor at the moment. We are not just filmmakers. We are looking for actors who can show us something, from whom we want to learn something, and that's exactly how we treat them, with esteem and respect. Insects have their own lives, their own needs. We are not there to influence or even change them. We are merely benevolent observers. And while we're on the subject of filmmakers and observers, we live in Switzerland, near Bern, and our mother tongue is Swiss German. It's an extremely strong dialect of German. We read and write German, but speak the language very rarely. The text in these two series have been translated into English by Deeple.com and are spoken by synthetic voices from 11lap.io. It is possible that the translation contains inaccuracies or errors. We apologize for this. We personally like the synthesized voices very much, but they are not able to reproduce our laughter, our joy, or sometimes our astonished or questioning voice correctly. We still see this as a major shortcoming, as it means that a large part of our humor and our personality is lost. But AI will be able to do this one day. We are already looking forward to it. 
You can imagine that we have brought home a lot of film snippets since 2005. There are around 16 terabytes of data and over 17,500 pieces of film in 1,828 folders. Each folder contains one insect species. Just for fun, we were interested in how much work goes into one minute of published film. It's about 170 hours. You might think he's exaggerating. I can do it in much less time. Yes, there are movies that don't require much effort, and there are movies that take a little more time. If you give us a thumbs up just for our work in between, then that wouldn't be wrong. By the way, a Hollywood movie takes between 1,000 and 2,000 hours of work per minute of film, depending on the special effects. Now a few words about our actors. The insects. An insect brain has around 200,000 fruit flies to around 1 million honeybees neurons. In comparison, a human has around 85 billion. Insects do not have a central brain like humans, but have several nerve nodes focused on specific tasks. Today it is assumed that there are three main centers. The anterior nerve node processes all information from the eyes and triggers corresponding reflexes or reactions to what it sees. For example, food here, I eat. Female here, I'm mating. The middle nerve node processes the olfactory information and triggers the corresponding reactions. For example, smells like female, I search, and the third nerve node controls digestion and egg production. The insect brain is too small to process complex information such as that required for emotions. Insects have no fear, feel no envy, know no resentment, no envy of food. But they also have no joy or experience, no pleasure or fun. Insects are simple. Insects have no self-awareness and no personality. They do not know that they are alive and are not afraid of death. Insects do not have pain receptors like humans although some insects exhibit behavior that is designed to protect them from harm there is no scientific consensus on whether they can feel pain we have observed that insects eat each other and that the victim does not fight back in other words they do not kick or thrash about wildly we personally assume that they cannot feel pain this would be very comforting for us because we have filmed scenes that are very brutal. Insects have a very simple life plan. They actually only do four things. They sleep, they eat, they take care of their bodies, and they reproduce. Females also lay eggs. We can only show these four or five behaviors in our films. If you expect sensations like beetles playing chess or dragonflies knitting socks, then you've come to the wrong place. To ensure that our series has a common thread and doesn't become boring, we've put our emotions and feelings into it. Of course, this does not correspond to the facts, but we want to share our joy and enthusiasm for the little crawlers with you. Personally, I was afraid of the insects before filming. I was disgusted by them. I found them disgusting. That's how many people feel. It was only when I was able to observe them under the macro lens that I recognized their splendid colors and their simple life. I quickly overcame my disgust and resistance and look forward to our excursions every time. Elizabeth feels the same way. We are happy when we discover an insect, when it strikes a pose and we get sharp pictures. We are happy when we look at the film snippets at home for the first time or when Elizabeth is able to identify them and put them in the right folder. It is a pleasure to edit the beautiful pictures and then set them to music. We are proud of every short film we have produced. We hope that we can pass on at least a small part of our joy and fun to you. And we would be delighted if you would leave us a comment. We will show you the first part of our episodes in the foreseeable future. Stay tuned. Until later. Until then. <laughs>